All right, this is a video for Dr. Ronald Stifler, and he asked for a replication of his latest video, and I have the capability of doing it, so I, um, I'm doing it for him. Um, the situation that uh, he mentioned in his video is that these couplings, and I never knew it and he didn't know it, actually have a capacitance between the terminal strips here. And I didn't realize it, and he didn't either, and then he measured it, and he found out there's a very, very um, uh, high capacitance or low capacitance, I don't know which way you want to put it, in the nanofarads or picofarads between these terminal housings. Even though it looks insulated, there's a capacitive coupling between those. And so anyway, I did it like his uh, setup. I've got a SEC-18 here. Uh, this is the real deal. Uh, L3 coil and then this terminal block. Now the L3 coil is going to go into one side of the terminal block and it is not connected to the other side of the terminal block. That's going to go to this AV plug and then to a dozen LEDs and then there's a, a virtual ground I call it wire coming off of here and uh, I just added a couple more LEDs on an AV plug on the end of that um, just to have something else to show here but it's running off a 12 volt battery and it was this that I thought very interesting here about this capacitive coupling between the output of the oscillator and then your um, your LEDs and all of these are in series these are 12 LEDs in series and um, um, they light up off of a uh, Avonminkel plug which is a couple of diodes here one going one way one going the other way and like I say they're not connected except through this terminal block which is insulated but there is a capacitance between the terminals so watch what happens here turn this on 12 volt power source and there go the LEDs even out here to the end on that uh, on that wire that's connected on the back of that panel and um, I just thought that was very interesting thought, so I thought I'd help the doctor out and do a replication for him. And uh, watch this as I change the capacitance with my hand. This will go in and out. And that's just my hand changing the capacitance in space. And that's even more interesting. Um, very, very fascinating to study these uh, Dr. Stifler SEC exciters. This is an 18... Uh, X board here and that's a standard L3 coil running off a 12 volt source uh, these run at about uh, 30 milliamps last time I checked um, and you adjust it with a variable capacitor right here on this one it's hard to adjust actually watch this go in and out of sync as I adjust it out in and I'm doing the adjustment on this variable capacitor Anyway, that's it, Doctor. You're right. I, th I think this is real interesting. Uh, I never knew that. I never knew that there was capacitance in a terminal block, and there sure as heck is. Thanks for showing that to us.